I am currently at my cabin. I am getting ready to film a podcast. So I thought I would show you kind of how I set up everything. I think the hardest thing for me about filming the podcast right now is that I don't have like a specific spot or studio set up because I'm traveling everywhere and I don't have a primary house right now. So I'm always in different places and it's really difficult to reset up everything and then get like the proper lighting, the proper background, make sure everything is working appropriately because there's like a lot of techie, like audio, video, lighting. That is a little bit tricky on my end, but we're gonna make the best of it. I'm super grateful I have this amazing cabin to come film at when no one's renting it because uh, this is an Airbnb in case you're new here. Um, and I can't try to feel which one. One of them's empty and I don't know which one it is. This is the extreme congestion relief, the Zycam. Uh, I can't breathe through my nose and it makes me sound like congested when I'm doing the podcast or just filming in general. So a lot of times I'll use that before I film or um, have to do like a voiceover or something. So also want to get the vibes right. I feel like the lighting in here is not, not very good. There's a fun story behind this candle. This candle, it says Tehachapi, which is the city that we're in right now. And it was hand poured and handmade in this town locally. And it was gifted to me from the realtor that helped me buy this cabin. So I think it's really special and I'm going to um, light it because I love the smell of it. In fact, I should probably buy another one. I don't know if they still sell them because it's been like probably a year since she got this for me. but. Um, it was part of our housewarming gift, you know, that like realtors give you. And I just thought this was such a sweet gift. So I'm going to get the vibes going, make it smell nice and fresh and cozy in here. And I just love this place. Oh my God. I love this place so much. This place is so magical and it would be selfish for me not to share it. So I know a lot of people are like, why wouldn't you just move in there and live there full time? We could, but I just think it's too special not to share. So, and it's huge. We want a smaller, smaller place. The difficult thing is I don't have lighting because I was like, oh, it's going to use natural light because of the time that we're filming. But because it's winter now, the sun has moved. <laughs> These are little things that like, you know, most people don't realize or think about because you don't have to, right? Because you're like not trying to film videos and use natural light. But because the sun has changed, I used to film here and it would be beautiful lighting. But now that it's winter, I can't. Cause as you can see, there's like sun coming halfway down here. So I'm trying to think of like the best place to kind of set this up. And I'm almost wondering if I do it over here in this like leather chair. The problem is, is that the mic that I have, a fancy setup I got going on. <laughs> oh my god. I still every day I wake up and I'm like, how is how do I get paid for doing this? Like, how is this my freaking job? I still will never know, but I'm extremely grateful that people show up and watch my stuff. So the trick is figuring out how to hook this up somewhere. I really wish I had like a tech person. I should have a tech person, but I'm not making money from the podcast yet. So when I do, God willing, I make money from the podcast eventually one day, I will be hiring somebody to help me set this stuff up because I just, this is not something that I am good at. And I'd rather be focusing my time right before the podcast instead of trying to figure out lighting and audio and setting up. I, I'd rather be spending that time thinking about what I am going to be talking about on the podcast, making sure that I have like interesting, you know, topics and things like that, because that's what I should be focusing my time on right now. And I'm not because I'm trying to do this. So. really nice to have a freaking videographer that really i don't know what i'm like i've been doing this all these years by myself but <laughs> would be nice i feel like my content would be so much better if i had a ton of people helping me or like just filming me doing my editing like oh man my stuff would be like freaking way better 
I need to get way more views on my videos in order to try to get help, <laughs> to afford help. In the meantime, this is the shit you guys don't see. Like when you just watch my podcast episodes, you don't see like the, all the stuff behind the scenes that goes on that. Yes, go Shan. All right. I don't need no man in my life. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Ah, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know how much time either. What time is it? Where are you going? I have a co-host, so it's not just like me by myself where I could show up when I want, you know? And she's like way busier than I am, so I can't like, I don't want to. Oh my God, did this freaking break? No! No! <laughs> no! Oh no, you guys, it freaking broke! Oh, are you kidding me? What time is it? Okay, I'm running out of time, and now I'm getting a little nervous because I do not like being late or other people waiting on me, and I have broken my freaking my stand and i'm in the middle of nowhere in the freaking mountains <laughs> there's not like a best buy anywhere close that i can just like go buy this nor do i have time so i am going to have to figure out something very quickly brb Shannon needs serious help. Honestly, you guys, like I say this all the time. I'll say it again. I don't know how. This is my job, and I'm very grateful. All right. Maybe I'm just such a shit show that like it's like a car wreck. You like can't look away. That's probably why people watch me. I'm assuming. Um. All right. Running now that I put that um, as I can. Right, I need to have my computer plugged in. when I'm doing it with a co-host or like there's other guests involved and a bunch of other people are like also leading, you know? <laughs> and I think it's like that. I gotta poop. And the best thing about online is like I can wear sweats because they only see like from the top up. So I guess I could wear this, but thought we'd try to be a little bit more professional today. So wait, I'm trying to do a transition and that's not gonna work. How, let's see, how much should I do? Hmm, this is like the fun part of filming is like, I don't know, you could tell because I get like all excited about, ooh, what fun transition should I do? Okay, I have an idea, ready? Set. <laughs> Goofing around. I need to get my life together and film and record a podcast for you who probably doesn't even care what I have to say. Okay, believe it or not, I figured it out. 
and I'm all set up and ready to go. Got my little candle, my broken thing. I somehow managed to just put my mic stand like this since it's broken, but it's going to work. It's on. <laughs> uh, so we've got that. And then I have my notes here. Um, before we uh, start, we each um, go over like one business thing we're going to talk about, one personal thing, and then one entertaining thing that we talk about. And then she'll do the same. Um, and then we'll let each other know like what we're planning to talk about to help like transition. <laughs> I'm not good at that part, but thankfully she is. So that's why I like having a co-host. Anyway, so I need to figure out what these are. And then, um, yeah, get rolling. So get we filming. have some very exciting news for you. No. <laughs> That you've got pregnant. Have you guys heard about permanent jewelry? Ooh, that was a good podcast. I'm excited for you guys to uh, listen to that one or watch it if you watch it on our YouTube channel. And in case you don't know, our YouTube channel is like a separate YouTube channel for the podcast where you can actually watch us do the podcast. If you guys like watching on YouTube better than just listening, um, then definitely go follow us. It's unapo the Unapologetically Me podcast, and I'll link it down below because um, I would be very appreciative and grateful if you guys would go subscribe and um, if you liked the episodes to like them. And I really like when you guys actually thumbs up the video because it lets me know like which ones you actually enjoy or if you even enjoy them at all so that we keep doing them. So <laughs> yeah, let us know by uh, hitting the thumbs up button. Anyway, now I'm gonna jump on a coaching call. I am not coaching, someone is coaching me. Um, and I am getting coached right now for my goals um, and like accountability. So that's what I'm about to jump on right now. Back to back calls basically. <laughs> All right, I am done with my coaching call for myself. And now we're at the cabin and I have a lot to do here. So I am going to go do that. And I probably should eat. Sometimes I get so busy I forget to eat. Does that happen to anybody else? And I love food too. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I'm like, oh shit, it's like three o'clock and I haven't eaten all day. So I should probably go do that. Okay, now I'm going to get out of my, actually we should check on my bloating together. One of my biggest pet peeves is static, like on your clothes. I don't know why, but it like really makes me very angry. <laughs> and so when my husband doesn't use dryer sheets because he thinks that they're poisonous, um, I get really angry. <laughs> Don't like static being on my clothes. All right, now we are all set to go do some work in the garage at the cabin. Gotta move a bunch of stuff around and get our personal stuff out of here. So that's kind of like what we're doing today. I think like winter time is just like worse for static also, but um, all right, I think we're in our cabin. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me. See that thing that looks kind of like a tripod? It's like a telescope because out here in the mountains, it's so beautiful and there's so many stars at night and it's really like a magical thing. I remember like when we first moved out here, I was like, Oh my God, I like, I, I was really shocked coming from the city. I had seen like stars and stuff before, but not like how they are here. Like they are so impressive and like so cool. So I had to get a telescope for the guests so that they could go see the magic. Yeah, we have like a little telescope. We've got bubblegum machine, We've got a cool, I mean, there's all these like little things that I feel like are so fun. Um, you know, for when people visit books, puzzles, board games, We've got everything here, mini golf checkers, all the things anyway. 
and we are gonna go outside into the garage. That's a freaking disaster. So because we don't have a lot of time today, we are, or well, by we, I mean, this is what I'm having for lunch. It's like a frozen meal. Kids get fancy meals, mom gets frozen meals. All right. How long does this say to? for four and a half minutes, so. I love being in the snowmobile. For anyone that doesn't know our motorhome, this RV, we call the snowmobile. We named it after our daughter, Snow. And we keep saying we need to get like a boat or something to name after Storm, our son. So we're like the storm chaser or something for like a boat, I don't know. Anyway, I love being in here. The vibes are just like all the rage for my husband and I and just our family in general. We're just like so much happier in the snowmobile. We keep saying like we don't know if it's because we're in like a smaller space less stuff less stress we're all closer together or if it's the idea of like the freedom that we have when we're in the motorhome or if it's because we know we're gonna go on fun adventures and i don't know it's just so cool like the fact that we can like sleep while we're driving and make food while we're driving to like a cool new place to visit i just love it i feel like if, if people have ever wanted to do something like that that they, they find a way to do it because you definitely want to do it before you die. Like, and I always say like, you can do it now, even if it's just for the weekend. Mm. This is like a really good frozen meal. Um, because I feel like we forget how short life is. And we always think like, oh, when we retire, like we're going to go do all these things that we wanted to do in our life. But yeah, we don't know if like we're promised tomorrow. And also like, why wait for the good stuff? Why not do it now? Not just that, but when you're older, like things are a lot harder and sometimes not as enjoyable. Go to the Grand Canyon and go like hike the mountains or whatever. Like when you're old, it's harder to do. Like your body is not the same as when you're younger. So like if you have the opportunity, you can make it happen. Go take those trips. It's definitely worth it. just turned it up for you already. You don't want to turn it too loud because then you won't be able to fall asleep. So do you say? I was gonna lay down with you. Anybody else color coordinate their closets? All right, well, that was an eventful day. Now I'm going to figure out what to make the kids for dinner, probably most likely microwave stuff because these are actually really good. I don't know if you guys have had these before. Uh, these are like the meatless sausage scrambles. We're not, uh, the kids and I aren't vegan anymore. I was still vegan, but we still eat like a ton of vegan food. So those are really good if you haven't tried them. Anyway, all right, I'm going to take all this makeup off, pull these eyelashes off. Actually, let's do it together. This is like the best part of taking your makeup off. And I'm gonna wash my face, get cozy, snuggle with the kids. Maybe we'll play like a little family board game or something. And then I'm going to uh, edit this video so I could try to post it for you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video.